Seeing yourself in the uniform reminds you how much you want this and how much you need to work to get it. Massage you up. Okay. This is the moment where they literally feel the fabric of our uniform that they've seen in pictures and television and movies, and they're putting on their Superman cape. It's a very exciting day. Lauren, how's it feel? It feels like I never want to take it off. <laughs> Those shorts are short. It's getting shorter. <laughs> All right, we're gonna pull and poke and... Yeah. We're making a cheerleader. <laughs> Yet each girl has different measurements, so that's why me and Lisa are measuring and folding and pulling and tugging to make this uniform a custom garment for each girl. Do we need to change her shorts? She needs it cut to fit her hips. This is so exciting. <laughs> oh, the belt's on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Courtney. I always smile when I see Courtney. <laughs> We're gonna pull and poke on you a little okay. bit. What's your okay. natural cup size? I'm um, a D. Oh, you are a D? Yes. From East Texas D, or did you buy it? No, it's real. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I mean, you look great. They're talking bras and fixing your bust area. <laughs> that's a lot of. That's a lot of padding. Too much. Still too much. Lisa, how little are you making those? I'm just having all kinds of fun. <laughs> I mean, she Leave me alone. <laughs> Our uniform total probably has less than three yards of fabric to perform in front of millions. It's not much. Ashley came in, and then she turned around. I forgot about her tattoo. Um, this is makeup. That's some crazy makeup. That's because she's got a crazy tattoo. <sighs> I hate tattoos. My mother put fabric paint on it, <laughs> and then I put Dermablend over it. It looked like the plaster peeling off of a swimming pool. OK, our uniform usually looks better without big runs like this. Oh, my goodness. So she goes and changes. She comes back. Lisa, what size shorts are those? These are mediums. Now her shorts don't fit. New shorts. I was looking, and there was something weird going on with her blouse and her bra. My mom took it apart okay. and basted it a little bit further. Basted? It. Yes, ma'am. I think that um, everything that could have gone a little bit wrong uh, did. But hopefully I can fix all the things that they want me to, and then I might get a real one with stars and fringe. She's back in the uniform. Yeah, I'm excited. You get to keep it this time. This is not my first time to feel this excitement and nerve to turn on the uniform, but it's still just as special. Oh, hi. Well, yeah. Your uniform was last year, but I know you fit everything so perfectly. Wouldn't that be neat if I went in there and it had Brittany written in it? Your uniform is exactly the same as last year. Wow, consistency, that's a good thing. I was so terrified that they were going to make me try on the uniform that I had the first time. You can move in this blouse. Which they did. Looky there. I was to say, I think you've failed out a little in five years. OK. OK, Melina Milana, watch your C's are going to become double D's after my tie. <laughs> the magic in the blouse is in the knot. Ooh. Wow. And it's a Kelly knot. And I have been tying those knots now since 1984. And I can do it with my eyes closed and asleep. I think this is, hold your breath. A D. OK. It's like being in the corset. See, I knew there had to be a trick to this. That's the trick. <laughs> that gets tied. Bra, oh, that's why we don't need the gold. I think so. Oh, wow, one. you tie it tight. We have something for you. <gasps> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I was expecting coming in and getting refitted for my uniform, and Lisa hands me my actual uniform from last year. I'm so excited. What a surprise. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. OK, I'm not giving it back this year, though. <laughs> last year, when I got cut, and Jessica hugged me, and I remember saying, I got cut because we're supposed to make it together. <laughs> So I'm happy this year. <laughs> I've auditioned three times for the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders, so it's now or never. This is the first time that we've both made it into training camp, so it's really <laughs> exciting, and we're just super happy that we get to go through this process together. I've okay. got on a small short, but it seems to fit her. Turn around. I think it looks good. It looks really nice. I don't want to take it off. 
We are working with Lisa, our there seamstress. You <laughs> Thank you. This uniform is 47 seasons into its lifespan. It's a symbol of sports, pop culture, and entertainment. It's a symbol of excellence, and it's celebrated in the Smithsonian Museum. We're seeing somebody from New Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> So I know you do fitness and dance, but mm -hmm. is it something you'd want to do as a career? If I were to make it, I'm going until my body's done dancing. So how do your parents feel about this? My mom calls me nonstop, which is, it's great. I need my mom there. She's just a little sad because she is a huge oh, wow. Steelers fan. Tell your mother that Terry Bradshaw lives around here. I never thought that I would have the courage or confidence to be here today, and I'm super excited for this journey. Alexandra? This is Alexandra's fifth year, right? In it's our right. audition process. Oh my goodness. What makes you keep coming back? Don't make me tear up, Kelly. <laughs> I thought it was a simple question. The uniform? This is the first time you've made it to this phase. I did my makeup really good today. Don't make me cry. <laughs> Auditioning year after year and finally making it to training camp and then making it to uniform fittings. It's just, it's surreal. It gives you that extra fire. Hi, how are you? Today is the day where we look at each rookie candidate individually and help kind of design the best hairstyle, cut and color for her unique look. What if her whole style was redone? Transform me. This is a very important day for these ladies because it's they've got complete focus from myself, Reiner, and his yep. team. And this can establish their look forever as a DCC. I think we should make a brunette. I think she should be a pretty dark brunette, actually. Does Black. she have? Standing in the street, can I'm just kidding. I'm just playing. <laughs> The DCC look is diversity. When we go through the day, it's very, very unique to the individual girl's skin tone, her eye color, her texture of her hair. Her look is unique to her. She needs highlights because look, I mean, her highlights are grown out like way out. But a real golden highlight? No, the highlight is not gonna be golden. I think she needs richness in her hair. Danielle is puzzling us because she has Really pretty hair, but we all want something more exciting and vibrant out of it. Do you think it's kind of faded? Well, that's what I'm trying to explain to you right now. Are we saying the same thing? No, you're not saying the same thing. We're trying to come up with the best answer. I mean, you can make her dark hair and it looks good. Hey, Billy. Reiner's always been the creative director. Billy is the colorist who actually does the full chemical work. What would you do to her? I think richer. Define richer. Well, I mean, more like a kind of the chocolate brown family. In my opinion. Are we saying the same thing now, Reiner? <laughs> I'm out of it. You know, I, I have a lot of respect for Kelly and what she says, but at the end of the day, this is, I guess, my expertise. If she's gonna look like a pale brunette, I'm not gonna be happy about it. it it's, it's tense. I mean, she's set in the middle of tension because Reiner gets testy. <laughs> I think you're saying the same thing. Yeah, I think we are. Yeah, I think, we I think are. you are. <laughs> so richer base and brighter highlights. highlights. Okay, then We're we just did the say the same thing. thing. <laughs> Danielle's a great example of why we do makeovers and why we need a drink after makeovers. <laughs> my worst nightmare probably if they cut my hair short, like chin length level. What I want to do with you is I want to cut your hair about right here. And I think we're going to really bring it up a little shorter you went here, <laughs> there was a moment where she got cute. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> right there, that's Always how she face. is dancing. Haircut wise, I mean, you want to definitely trim it up a little bit. Wow, you're a natural blonde. I don't know what I've been doing, trying to figure well, out what looks good. <laughs> I can't believe Let's that. leave it to the professionals now. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Miss Tasha. Hello. I'm a little nervous for her to get her hands on my head, because it's not too pretty underneath. She, oh, does, she has friends in here. She does have some I friends do. in here. I wasn't blessed with the best hair, so the extensions definitely helped me. She could go dark. She really <laughs> could go dark. Oh, goodness. I've been blonde for, for quite a while now, so it would be very drastic to see me anything different. Well, what were you thinking? You know, I think if you gave me the opportunity today, I could make you love it. I'm crossing my fingers. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> Out with the old, in with the new. Now 
now comes the fun part, the results. Oh my god. Oh, we went almost red. No, I love it. I feel like I'm wearing a wig right now. <laughs> There's always going to be a few surprises. Wow. <laughs> Kelly, what do you think about a natural? I love it. Isn't it yes. I was shocked to see how much curl she had. Curl explosion. A thick, beautiful curls that would just, they were like multiplying. It was amazing and it's crazy that she would mask that. I think this is more unique. I love it. I just don't feel like she needs all this. It just, it looks, you can tell it's extensions. It looks that way and I think she's prettier enough to carry something kind of Reese Witherspoon short, Jessica Simpson short. I think Taylor's is challenging makeover because her little head is just full of extensions. She's got beautiful eyes, a beautiful face, and she's just been hiding it behind all this hair that's not even her own. She needs a really um, edgy haircut. All right, let's look at the new you. <laughs> Whoa. I know. <laughs> I think it looks amazing. I love Taylor's makeover. It's exactly what I'd hoped for. I hated it so much. Now okay. I just need a Harley to drive home on. <laughs> like I wanted to just like run away. Yeah, it looks really good from the side. Yeah. I think her makeover was incredibly successful, but I think she is still afraid of it. All right, cool. I like it. <laughs> if I were to get cut, I, like I may it. come straight to the salon the next day and get some new extensions put in. I'm sitting here with an empty chair because I'm waiting on Dayton and I'm waiting on Kristen. They're both late. If that starts to compromise the chemical work on the others, we just gotta keep going. I'm being late to anything, but on something like this where we've got so many people with scheduled appointments, it's not a good first impression. It is really stressful being late because of course I wanna make a good impression and I don't want Kelly to think that I'm not reliable. Hello. She's not mad. <laughs> You're late. What's... I know. I'm so sorry. What happened? When I was shining over here, I got pulled over because my tail light was out. So the... <laughs> I had to explain to the officer that I was on my way over here and I needed to hurry. You need to get your tail light fixed. Oh, yes, ma'am. I'll get that fixed right away. Okay. Obviously, for any job, it's really important to be on time because being punctual shows that you're reliable, and so I'm just gonna have to make sure from here on out that I'm on time so that I can show her that this was just a one-time thing. Where's Dayton? She's still... Oh. She's here. I'm sorry. I know. I was, I was only going six over, and they pulled me over, and he just gave me a warning. He's like, you'll be okay. Okay, I'm glad he said you'll be okay, but you won't hear. So now you're strike one. When you're late to my stuff, I remember. Yes, ma'am. Dayton could have left her home earlier and been here early, and that would have prevented speeding. And Kristen could have and should have already repaired her tail light. They both need to be responsible, and they need to be extremely punctual. I have the burden of you being your mother's daughter, and I love you like a child. And I cut a veteran for being late. Yes, ma'am. Don't do that to me. She's got a really good base to do like a deep chocolate brown. Okay, come here, I want to show you this floor. Okay. I'm not, I'm not kidding. Claire, can you come lay down on the floor, please? Come here. <laughs> Don't trip. The gradation of tones in that floor is what I want on her hair. I like that and that highlight. This is my 25th year as director. I've never laid anybody down on the floor to match their hair to wood. Claire, did you ever think we were going to design your hair after a floor? No. But I'll do it again. If they want to shave my head, they can do it. Marshall and I have this sure. near scientific consultation. We're digging through their hair. We're finding roots and we're discovering natural hair color. Is this kind of your natural color right here? A little bit. It's, it's kind of more of a sandy brown. So you're not afraid of color, huh? No. <laughs> we're looking up close in the light at their eyebrows. Look up to the mirror. Their eye color is paramount to me. And it's from that combination that we decide which direction we need to go. What would you say if we remove some of the hair that was hanging so much so you put more horizontal width in there? Okay. 
it'd make her instantly famous. No one's gonna forget this. I can, I can bring it back. We're kind of having a slightly serious discussion about taking her to pigtails like one of our most famous cheerleaders in the 70s, Tammy Barber. Everybody knows her. She was kind of all game for it, even though we were really teasing. Well, maybe the pigtails aren't for you. Okay. okay. I'm a little nervous because they could do just about anything with my hair. I'm just hoping that whatever they do will help me stand out. I think you're a beautiful redhead, but I do feel like I think we can do more. Shayna has always gotten my attention, but she has not gotten the eyes of our guest choreographers. That concerned me. Shayna may be a perfect example of how a makeover can really make a difference in her career here. We're gonna remove all of these extensions. We do that with acetone and a pair of pliers. When he said pliers, he scared me. <laughs> so, this one's Carmen. You can color her, do whatever you need to. I'm okay with anything that happens today because honestly, I mean, these are wigs, so it's easy. Lace front, and this is what yes, you have right now. that's what I have right now. Cat brought in two other different cat looks. This one's Nikki. This one, I don't have a name for her. Not everyone understands mm -hmm. what it takes to maintain these on a regular no basis. Yeah. Do what color you need to, and that way, I can have this as a backup. Perfect. I've never been to such a glamorous salon before. I got two people working on me like a celebrity. This is definitely the most drastic haircut I've gotten, but excited to see the end product. Oh my gosh. Last time I hair this short, I was six years old, so I keep pulling at it. Oh, hello, sunshine. Look at that. We've been asking more power from Madeline. If she really likes the way she looks, she might possibly be able to translate that into more powerful dancing. I hope so for her. Makeups have been very good today. They're all very effective, and hopefully the overall confidence and wow factor in the room will be elevated. I feel older this way. It makes me feel like a woman. <sighs> oh my gosh, it's so fiery. I love it. Yeah, I do too. Shana's reveal is quite dramatic, and hopefully today she's a step closer to being a standout. I'm really excited for show group auditions to show off my new hair. We're here today at Valley Ranch to do our jump split clinic with some of the training camp candidates. In the past, some people have been cut strictly because of the kick line or the jump split. So it is a very important element. Literally, it is a split and you go down. If you land with a flex foot, you're gonna jar your knee. But especially in that turf, if you don't point your toes extra hard, you're gonna catch that turf with your heel. It hurts, I promise. The other thing that I've noticed Back legs sometimes don't get further than this off the ground. So a split, even in the front, even in the back, all the way. And I think when you think about the landing, you freak yourself out. All right, girls, here we go. I want you to do six straight kicks, starting with your right leg, and then into the jump split. Even going through auditions, I thought, if I make it into training camp, seven, I'm gonna have to do that jump one, split. <laughs> well, oh, that was not as good as I hoped it would be. I just try to pop back up and hope that nobody noticed. Four, five, six, seven. <laughs> but people always notice, I mean, of course. Ash, you cheated it whenever you landed and your heel hit, and that's why you slid back further than Vanessa and Jackie. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and hook up. Okay. Here we go, thumbs in, thumbs in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not bad at all. Okay, y'all stand on up. If somebody pulling on you, I mean, you literally Was just, it me? It, it, okay. It, yeah, okay. I always okay. pull okay. on everybody's. It's good that you know now, and that's something that you just have to focus on. Yes. If you start to pull on someone in the kick line, yes, it can be very dangerous because that is what can cause injuries. Okay, girls, we've talked a lot today about flexibility, and I know that's something all seven of you could really work on. And so we have the Dallas Cowboys Cheerleaders Fitness DVD. We have the yoga version of it for you today because I really think that this will help you outside of practice. I'm feeling so much stronger. If Kelly and Judy want to see the jump split, I think I'll be prepared. Hopefully I can come back tonight and fix those things. Okay, jump split. First time, it's kind of like, oof, scary, I don't know. The jump split is scary. It's kind of a risk. We're asking them to jump up in the air and do a strong mid-air split and then land in an unnatural position. The jump split is quite literally a leap of faith. 
I'm a little horrified, terror, like I, all these things are going through my brain right now. Okay, y'all ready to do it full out from the top? Five, six, seven, eight. all the way through. It was a mess. Timing is off on the kicks. It's waving. And over in here, we're starting to fight rhythm. Nothing's going to get easier at this point. We're going to move with a very rapid momentum. It's going to be a very hard journey, without question. Let's wrap it up out here and go in. We're going to do the kick line. Hook up and get your yard line. We also need to see tonight that the kick line is improving. and that when we sit back and look at them as a whole on the football field, that it's gelling and that their kicks do look good. I think this is a pretty big moment for all of us, but I think I might be more scared than anyone else. <laughs> is important because it is the finale of our performance. The kicks have to be high, they have to be powerful, they have to be precise. And if one person messes up, it could train wreck the whole, the whole team. Okay, Callie, your kicks are high enough to where you don't have to hunch over. And you're hunching over. Marie, your split was low when you hit landed in the jump split. You've got to touch the turf with all your glory. Stephanie, your kicks aren't low, but your feet are floppy and out of control. Mackenzie, point your toes. Your feet look flexed. Y'all just aren't kicking as one. You don't look like the veterans in the kick line yet. When I'm just watching y'all, it's a mess. All right. Hi. We are now starting week two. We're going to work on the turf some tonight and then back upstairs in the studio. I'll let Judy share the curriculum for the evening. Tonight you're going to learn the kick line for the first time. You're also going to do the jump split for the first time. Three years ago, last time I was in training camp, I pulled my hamstring on my right side, which is the jump split side. You have to do the jump split correctly because if you land wrong, there goes your hamstring, you could hurt your hip, you could hurt your lower back. I'm sure y'all have had advice. It's nothing to be afraid of. I can sympathize with the rookie candidates. I never had to do a jump split. We didn't do that back in the 80s. I think that it would have probably terrified me also. OK, you guys ready? Yeah. OK, y'all stand up, and everyone else feed into the long line. Y'all hook up. You are going to start pointing your right foot back. Our kick line is very important. It's our signature move. It's the part of our pregame performance that all the fans are waiting to see. Point one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it's just really important that the end of our dance, the jump split, is perfect. Six, seven, eight, one. Opposite. OK, so let's break into smaller groups so y'all can practice the jump split. Learning the jump split, um, Lacey gave me a lot of correction. A little bit scary, but I think by the end, I really got it. There you go. You hit there, though. Five, six, seven, eight, hit one. Yeah. You got it like A plus plus. Good job, girl. I'm really excited that I got it. It's been such a dream of mine to like do the jump slit with the DCC, and now I'm doing it. So it feels really good. Hit. Good job. Are you okay? Um, I just I pulled my back leg just a little bit. Yeah. I'm just in a state of if I do it with the whole group that I'm gonna really hurt it. Yeah. No, you definitely have to take it easy. I saw Miranda walking up to us with 
big tears in her eyes, and Janelle was escorting her off the field, and I'm like, oh, no. I mean, I knew what was coming. It's jump split night, and here we go. I pulled something. I can't figure out if it's here or further up. Did you feel it rip or anything? Point where it hurts. Well, whenever I'm just standing here, it's here, but when I'm down in my split, it's back here, so I don't know if it's like a rippling effect. Pull yourself out of the line and, okay. and kick in the back. Yes, ma'am. Okay. This moment could be an ending moment for her, and it just makes me sick. I'm just crying because there's a lot on the line. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I'm crying because there's a lot on the line. I want to be on this team, and I don't want something as small as an injury to keep me back from it. We're going to have Lacey, who's our famous kicker, who's famous for making her nose bleed. Lacey's kicks are so good that her first year of auditioning, she kicked herself in the face. So Lacey, if you will, explain the mechanics of a jump split, and then we'll start doing jump splits in groups, and then kick line. OK? All right, so everyone hook up. So let's go through the kick sequence. You're going out one, passe two, three, kick four. Five, six, seven, eight, one. Let's break up in smaller groups so you can feel the jump split. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five, six, seven, eight, one. That was better. Doing the jump sit was actually not as scary as I thought it was going to be. The veterans really helped us out. That was a lot better. And then once we did it, it went well. Yeah, good. Yeah. OK. <laughs> Judy and I both keep coming to the same conclusion. Four. We're going to have a hard time to find nine ladies to cut from this roster. Six, seven, eight, oh, one, two, three, four, five. Watch your left foot. Watch your left foot and keep showing her. Okay. It's like it's not even attached to your body. It flops. So if you really think all the way from the ankle, just like engaging it all the way down your leg, that'll help that ankle stay pointed. Okay, okay. let's hook up to one line. That can make your hands clap. Jasmine is adding all kinds of extra things. Kristen, you were late. Four, six, Snap your head. It was definitely nerve wracking for me to get out here for the first time, but once I started to relax, it did feel better. Lindsay's kicks seem to be kind of short and snappy. Three, five, five. five. Kristen's very flexed. 